Hey what's up guys, Flickify here and welcome to another career mode player review and today we're taking a look at Mbolo. This review was highly requested by quite a few of you guys so thank you for leaving comments and if you guys can continue to show your support on this series by leaving a like down below and leaving a comment on what player you want me to review that would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the review today. At the start of career mode, Mbolo has an overall rating of 71 at age 17 so that is spectacular and his value is only 1.1 million with an exciting prospect status. You can see once you inquire about him, they're gonna say about 10 and a half million. I actually had to wait until the winter transfer window because you're not able to actually sign him at the start because he's a new addition to FC Basel. But if we move on now to his player information, you can see he's got great stats. For striker, the only downfall of his player information is he does not have four star skill moves or four star weak foot, which can be a little bit tricky at times, but if we move on, we can see he has two traits, the finesse shot and the flare trait. No specialties to start off with, and his stats at the beginning are quite good for a 71 rated player, especially in the physical department. He's got most of those stats really in the lower 80s in regards to the physicals, and his technical is in the upper 70 for a lot of the more important ones like ball control, dribbling, finishing, and short passing. Let's move on now and see what he looks like at his peak. After 12 years of simulating, Mbolo reaches an overall rating of 90 and an overall value of 56 million. Some incredible growth for a player you can pick up for so cheap at the start. He actually manages to gain quite a few specialties. You can see he has the poacher, speedster, aerial threat, dribbler, distance shooter, acrobat, clinical finisher, and complete forward specialties. I think that's the most I've seen from any player. So that is some incredible stuff right there. And if we move on now, to his stats. Man, those are some nice stats. A lot of them in the dark green and upper 90s. Physical, that's probably the best physical stats that I've seen in any player that I've reviewed thus far. His technical attributes are pretty good. I wouldn't go on to say that they're quite as good as Lacazette's, but his physicals, I think, are a little bit better. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Do you want a player that has great technicals and very good physicals? Or do you want someone who has great physicals and very good technical stats? That's really up for you guys to decide. And I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons in the goals to follow. All right, guys, the clips I have today are going to be able to showcase why I believe Mbolo is the best budget striker and even best budget player to buy on FIFA 15 career mode. We'll start with the pros, and it has to be his pace being the first one I say because it is just ridiculous. He has incredible physicals, and if you guys do manage to use him, I think you'll agree with me on that. In addition to that, he has fantastic dribbling, 98 overall on the dribbling, and his uh, overall height, six foot, is pretty good. Uh, I've had quite a few strikers that are a bit shorter, and he's able to win some of those headers in the air. But we'll move on to the cons, and the first con I have is his shooting. It's Don't get me wrong, it's pretty good, but it's not Lacazette worthy. Lacazette was just able to bang home long shots, and Abolo wasn't quite able to do that for me. A lot of his were ones where he just runs it by the keeper. And as well as that, he does have three-star skill moves, so that can be a con for the skillers that like to do those Ronaldo chops and Burba spins and all those four-star skill moves. Overall, for his price, I have to give him the 10 out of 10 rating. He only cost 1.1 million at the start, and that is just an incredible buy for the value. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this review today. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like down below. And until the next review, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.